this video is going to be on increasing and decreasing intervals of a function and the way we do increasing and decreasing intervals is we're going to use set notation uh, or interval notation remember an interval uh, is a group of numbers between two numbers so if I said negative 2 to 5 the interval that's being described if I looked at a number line is all numbers from negative 2 to 5 on the number line or in this case we're going to use the x-axis and so it's going to be all numbers in between negative 2 and 5 but not including 2 and 5 so numbers like negative 1 0 1 2 3 and 4 um, and all the way up to like 4.99999 uh, but not 5. So we're going to express our intervals uh, like that uh, but the way to look at um, the way to look at these things is you have to see the graph. So if we make a quick sketch of a polynomial function let's do a W and so we could create a polynomial function that would look like that uh, and increasing and decreasing portions of this function are going to be um, how you find them are going to be from left to right so if you were to take your pen and move from the left part of the graph to the right as you could see the graph is going down but when it gets to this minimum down here it stops moving down and then now it turns back up then once it gets to this maximum it stops going up and now it's going back down and as it goes back down once it gets to the minimum again it's going to go back up and so uh, you have an increasing portion or excuse me decreasing here and then this part would be increasing and then this part is decreasing and this part is increasing and so in this problem we have two decreasing portions and two increasing portions of the graph so let's try and take a look at a place where we could do uh, increasing and decreasing portions on this function. You're going to need to make sure that for any graph, for any graph that you have the maximums and the minimums to this function. So I'm going to just make something up here. Let's go with a polynomial function that starts coming down this way. And then when it gets to right here, let's go with negative 2, negative 4 is the minimum. And then it's going to go up. And then it's going to get to 1, positive 4. And then it's going to go back down. Okay? And so there's our polynomial function. So if you were to look at this and trace from left to right, this graph is decreasing as it moves from left to right and it gets to this uh, to this minimum of negative 2, negative 4 then it turns back up and it starts to increase along this pattern and then it decreases again so the decreasing intervals can be written this way uh, since it's coming from the left it's coming from negative infinity from the left and then it's coming all along the x-axis until it gets to this x value right here and the x value is negative 2 so we say that it's decreasing along the x-axis from negative infinity to negative 2 and then it'll start decreasing again at the x value of 1 as it moves to from here to positive infinity so 1 to positive infinity and we only use parentheses in this case because it can't equal those numbers and then the increasing interval is only one of them and the increasing interval goes from the x value of negative 2 and then it goes to positive 1 and that's how you would do increasing and decreasing intervals of a polynomial function have a good day